It's the season for traditions, right? Well, what happened to your Thanksgiving dinner? Our daughter and my wife shared the cooking duties for Thanksgiving this year. Our daughter and her family live just 10 minutes away from here. We shuttled over the turkey, set it on the kids' front porch, and picked up our side dishes and desserts, fabulous pecan and pumpkin pies. We then went home and Zoomed Thanksgiving dinner. Not terribly traditional, right? We've lost out on a whole year of traditions. Graduations, baseball games, the Muni Opera, it's an outdoor theatrical phenomenon here in St. Louis, college football games, even getting back to college campuses. It's like the indicator light that says tradition coming has been taped over with black electrical tape. The traditions I'm speaking of are the repeated patterns engaging friends and family that get together year after year at appropriate times. The Webster Kirkwood Turkey Day football game, it's the oldest high school rivalry west of the Mississippi, putting lights on the Christmas tree, ushering in the new year, things like that. I think these occurrences are comforting for us. They let us know that everything is still all right. They reside in that part of our brain that harbors habits, repeated functional and dysfunctional behaviors, dietary struggles, and even addictions. We do all of these things in order to stay in our comfort zone, whether or not that comfort zone is actually good for us. I have an affinity for cake donuts. Can't say no. Total comfort food and not particularly good for me, right? If our traditions were like my cake donuts, then 2020 has replaced said donuts with a plate of kale. The family gathering at Thanksgiving was probably virtual. You might have waved at Grandma through her window at the old folks' home, and Christmas and New Year's aren't looking much better. I'm here to suggest there's hope. I've seen it. While many traditions were put on the back burner this year, new ones have emerged. Like our Thanksgiving exchange. We did that. If we have to, we can do that again and get more and more creative each time we do it. I've seen drive-by birthday parties and large neighborhood gatherings with adequate social distancing and masks. Front yards full of people. We are a resilient species. Merry Christmas, or whatever holiday you're probably missing this year, however you decide to engage it. Stay positive, test negative. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.